Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. And I'm here with Eric yep. and Tim. And guys, uh, tell us where we're at, first of all. We're at Midwest Car Exchange out in Nelson, Illinois, uh, home of the world's classic and muscle car dealership. I'm going to grab the cameras I usually do because I'm going to. And, and, and wait, 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 stand by the car for okay. a second again. And, and, and uh, who's the older brother? I am. And where's your dad? He's in, Lewis. enjoying himself, having a little, uh, little him time, I guess. So while he's gone, we're going to talk about his car. Yeah. All right, great. Come on back, guys. And what do we have here today? We've got a 69 Boss 429. This car is featured uh, with four-speed, obviously the big 429 engine, um, especially made for the NASCAR circuit. This one actually is sporting 16,000 original miles, and it is an all-original car. So this is one of Dad's favorite. Is this Dad's favorite car? It's in there. It's in the top it's, it's five. It's in there. It's in the top five. I definitely would say that. It's in the top five. Okay, so he's not here, and we're, we're letting him know that you guys are working here. And give us a quick plug as I'm walking around the car. You guys sell cars. Yeah, we sell cars, consign them uh, primarily. We'll do restorations too, but uh, we're a family-run business for the past 24 years now. It's just been the four of us over here in a uh, 12,000 square foot indoor showroom, and we sell worldwide. Okay, so today... We're just featuring one of the beautiful cars that you have here today. And we'll feature more of those as well. Um, and as you get cars that have great stories, you guys call me on in and we'll, we'll definitely do some stories. So, yeah, definitely, so definitely. this is great. And you're, what, what, what town are we in? We're in Elsip, Illinois. We're Elsip, about Illinois. eight miles south of the city of Chicago. Okay, great. So we're in Elsip, Illinois, and we're looking at considerably the baddest Mustang of all time, the Boss 429. And the color is Wimbledon white. And for those people who want to see some detail, you can stop on this at any time and get some of that detail, as you can see. But you don't have to look at it in a book because we're looking at the real thing. Love the sport mirrors. Now, how long have you had this car? We've actually had the car for about eight, 17 years now, 1998. So yeah, about 17 so years now. So this car is not just one that you sell, but this is kind of a family member. I mean, it is. It, it is the redhead stepchild, the uh, the third son. And as I understand it, there's a story on when you, you know your dad buys and sells cars. I mean, that's great. How did he have to? What did he have to do to get this one? Actually, this car and the 1970 Boss 302. It's an orange car. He primarily went to go buy these two cars out of a collection. He, when he arrived there, he goes, all right, I want these two cars. The guy goes, nope, nope, nope. You gotta buy 12 more cars to go along with it. <laughs> so a 14 car package so, uh, to get these two. You wanna get yourself your Boss 429. There's a little stipulation to it. Without a doubt. There's the exhaust on this one. And I'm taking my time on this because it just, it's a beautiful, beautiful car. Yeah, he went over everything. He, uh, he wet sanded and buffed the car inside and out. It's still sporting original paint. So this is your real original boss. And although your dad and you, you gentlemen, and your mother go to some wonderful car shows, this one stays right in the showroom. It does. And the bars are around it. And this is the one that's special to your, to your dad. Right. Well, look at the beautiful tail right there how it swoops down yeah it looks just fantastic yeah, clearly beautiful body lines clearly a, the fast back and again arguably arguably one of the most beautiful mustangs and keep in mind that the car is not numbers matching either the car came from ford motor company with a 385 uh, then went over to motorcraft where they cut ground and dropped in a 429 uh, for the insurance companies it was rated at 350 horsepower uh, Realistic numbers are over 500, 5550. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. Go ahead, I'll let you open that. And let's start right on the side because people love all that little badging and stuff. So I'm going to do this with the door. And let's look at the model NASCAR. <laughs> That's great. What's it for? How about that? KK429. Well, back in 69 and 70, uh, one of the stipulations for NASCAR was uh, Ford had to build X amount of number of 429s in order to race in the NASCAR series. Um, so Boss or Ford Motor Company built 800 of these Boss 429 Mustangs between 69 and 70 just to get them uh, into the race and let them use the engine. So uh, this is one of them that, uh, that allowed them to do that. And uh, 
you know, pretty straightforward four seat Mustang. Uh, back seats really are never used unless you have small children, which probably when you guys got this car, uh, you could see the size of both of you guys are towering over me. And, yeah, I don't think I was ever small at any point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not the smallest guy on the planet, I'll tell you that, but uh, you guys are making me look pretty small. We had a basketball game right now, I'd just clearly be the guard. But, yeah, there you go. Um, there we go, 16966. That's original. On the original odometer, and it's kept there. Still sports all the factory markings as well too in the door jam, so it's all all original, never been uh, eaten up or ripped apart. Tampered with or kind of a Shelby little stripe in the uh, four speed there. Right, right. Now now guys, uh, you know, just in a, in a level of honesty, you guys ever take this thing out when dad's not around? Uh, I'd absolutely love to, but like I said, uh, since I can remember, I don't think I've ever heard this car run. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, it's been quite some time. It's been all quite right. Time. So, Dad, you're safe, all right? Yeah. So, Although, if we do get it running, we will uh, yeah. we'll have a little fun. So, we'll Dad, fun Dad, next time I'm out, we and you will chat and talk about the cars and the boys and things, but but they're they're taking care of your business while you're gone. We're just Let's, saying this because this is all on film right now. Yeah, right, right, right. That's true, too. Let's uh, pop the hood because that's really the uh, the cherry on the that's, sundae. That's the bread and butter. There we go. It's just jammed in there. Just monster heads on top of this 429. This was actually the equivalent of the uh, the Mopar's Hemi engine. This okay. is a semi-hemi, they call it. Semi-hemi, yeah. Semi-hemi. Semi-hemi, yeah. Nice. And you've got the hood scoop divots there. The 46, maybe someone can tell us there's some 46 markings there and a 46 marking there. I'm sure some... And the hinge too. And on the hinge. <laughs> right there so you viewers who know these cars feel free to comment as we go accordingly but this is really always a treat whenever you get a 429 mustang that you get the chance to to view so and as they said if it's kind of the overall it's really packed in there and even even dad will get the chance to enjoy and read some of these badges he may never have been able to read until we've got high def like this. So for all of those people that want it. And we'll just do that. So gentlemen, let's shut the hood. Eric, jump on in. He took off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tim, jump in. Customer King. Yeah, exactly. Stand right there. Yeah, stand right there. Stand right there. Tim, thanks for being on my car story. Thank you, Lou. Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Tim. Tim, what's your last name? Palazzolo. Palazzolo. So we're going to take a look. We're at the World of Wheels in Rosemont, Illinois. Come on out, see the show, see some amazing cars. If you can't make it this year, make it next year, but you got to come out to the Rosemont Convention Center in Illinois and uh, come on out and see some of the great cars. I'll grab the cameras I usually do. Tim, stay right where you're at. All right. Tell us, um, first of all, your car that you're bringing to us has only been coming out to how many shows? This is the second show. We debuted it last weekend in Detroit. Okay. This is the second show we've had it at. And um, how long have you had this car? Uh, the car is, was built with a customer of ours named Juan Martinez. We've been building it for four years. He bought it for us to build a car to get our name out there and to kind of impress the people and show people the Mustangs can be a cool car. Where, is your, where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas, and my shop is GAP Racing in Houston. Got it. Good. Okay. Is anything we know? How long have you been with GAP? Uh, I own it. Me and my father, we've been open for about eight years now. All right. Good. Come on right alongside me, and let's take a look at this car. Uh, natural reaction is, wow. <laughs> oh, holy cow. First of all, love the color. What's the color of the car? The color was mixed up by Paint House in Houston, Te or Cypress, Texas. It's called Super Blue. Super Blue. Stay right with me. Come on right alongside. So when you're building a car like this, um, look at that coming at you. How do you, who starts to design it? How does this kind of, you know, what's the story? Why a Mustang? What so basically Juan told me that I could build, he wanted to help our company out and help us put a, build a car to get our name out there. So he basically told me, build anything you want as long as it's a Mustang. Uh, he bought the car, brought the car to us and gave me free reign to do what I wanted to do. So you just started at a drafting board and said, let's go. Took a piece of paper, kind of knew what I wanted my end result to be. So after I looked at the car, you know, we widened the quarter panels. They're two and a half inches wider per side. 
Uh, the fenders are an inch and a half wider per side in the front. The entire front of the car is carbon fiber. The fenders, the bumper, the nose is all made out of carbon. Um, pretty much the only thing on the car we didn't touch or modify was the roof. Uh, we shaved the drip rails, custom door handles from Goolsby Customs, uh, the door pockets from Goolsby. It's sitting on Air Ride. It's got magnetic ride from Ride Tech. Uh, 20 inch rush fork wheels. Um, the brakes are from Willwood. They're 14 inch brakes that we uh, had them hydro dipped in carbon, so the, the stampede lettering is actually in carbon fiber and the silver is painted to match the That's the nickname for this car. That's stampede. the name of the car, yes. And just look at that paint and the skirts and everything else. We hand built all the rockers, you know, all the rear quarters are all steel. Uh, the trunk lid, the fender extensions, the rear bumper is all carbon. The center, ex center exit uh, stainless exhaust we built for the car. We 3D printed the tail lights, so we wanted to keep them looking like a 69 Mustang, but wanted to suck them in a little bit, so we did 3D printing on them and uh, kind of did our version of a 69 tail light. The filler cap was a billet filler cap made from East Bay Muscle Cars. Um, the windows are all acrylic from Pro Glass. Wow, what a neat exhaust, too. Does this car start? It does, it runs, it drives. We had to. In order to make the Grade 8 Detroit, we had to prove that it was a running driving car, so it had to start, stop, go backwards, go forward, and, and steer on its own. Can we start it today? No, they won't let me start it anymore. It's all been disconnected. Okay, all right. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's, let's, let me have you open the door. Okay. Because it's not only beautiful. Well, the cool part about the interior is we did a uh, completely... Let me have you grab that other thing. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Cool part about the interior. Cool part about the interior we did was a... Uh, Hold on, Tim, go ahead. The cool part about the interior, we tried to do a completely stitchless interior. So we didn't want to see any stitching on the door panels, wow. the seats, uh, the dash, you know, the roll bars made into the headliner. Everything we did was uh, where you wouldn't be able to see any of the stitching, any of the threads on the car. Because it's really hard to do something different nowadays. The interior was done by uh, Compton Custom Upholstery in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Got some neat gauges here. Silver face with blue LED lighting. They're from Dakota Digital. It's got vintage air. Car has AC, overdrive. It was built to be driven. Wow. And there's the roll bar. And let's take a look at under the hood. All right. So under the hood is 572 cubic inch uh, John Cossey Boss 9 headed motor with his stack injection. Makes a little over 900 horsepower. Uh, we still got some more tuning to do on it to dial it in, but uh, we tuned it to run good enough to get us here. It's gorgeous. Thank you very much. I mean, there's no you know wiring that you could see other than the spark plug wires. It really looks seamless. Yeah, as part of the deals, we tried to hide all the wiring in the car, try to make it look like it didn't actually run. Mm -hmm. And the plug wires were custom made. They matched the battery cables. They matched the alternator wire. We dyed the spark plug boots. We tried to make everything you know look like it was a toy. It, it, it looks like a toy. It looks like a big Hot Wheel. It looks just like a blast. So let's have you stand right next to your car. Okay. Tim, thanks for coming to the show. Thanks for bringing it out, and uh, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you very much.